What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Thanks to those of you watching on YouTube or IGTV, especially thank you to those listening on Alexa, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, pumped to bring you today's data-driven daily tip, talking more about Facebook Ads Manager and Facebook Events Manager. You know from following us that we have talked a lot and blogged a lot about all things Facebook Business Manager, Ads Manager, and Facebook Tracking Pixel over the last couple years. We've covered some basic stuff, like how to install the Tracking Pixel on your WordPress and Shopify site. We've covered some more advanced stuff, like how to read the data in the back end of Facebook Ads Manager and uh, run specific ads off of conversion events and Tracking Pixel events. And today, I just kinda wanna take a step back and walk you guys through some of the stuff that we are looking at these days in Facebook Events Manager and Ads Manager. And there's all these new testing features. A-B testing is something that we've talked about and now there's lift testing and they all have these, um, basically they have these tie-ins with Facebook Events Manager and uh, tracking pixels. So we're gonna we're gonna back up. We're gonna show you Facebook Events Manager and how to read some of that data today. And then in future data driven daily tips, that puts us in a position where we can reference this video, but show you some more advanced stuff. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into your business.facebook.com account. Click on the hamburger menu and. Um, hover over all tools and you'll be able to click on events manager. Of course you can see the URL up here is a shortcut. If you wanna just go business.facebook.com slash events underscore manager to get there, be my guest. But what you'll see here is all of your different um, tracking pixels. We're gonna go click into the data-driven design tracking pixel here. And um, basically what it's gonna show you is all of your events, you can review your events by clicking this review events. Now these are the default ones that were set up for you when you installed your tracking pixel. Um, so if you have an e-commerce website, you basically will see uh, some extra ones in terms of um, proceed to checkout, purchase, conversion, but really the two that you'll have if you have an e-commerce website is page view and purchase conversion. And if you don't have an e-commerce website, you're basically just gonna see page view. So today what we're gonna do is show you how to kind of look at some of this data and start to think through how you might wanna use it for future Facebook marketing campaigns. So if you go down on the right hand side of the page after you've clicked into your events manager and then you've clicked into your tr the name of your business's tracking pixel, go over to events. There's an events drop down on the bottom right hand portion of the page. You're gonna toggle it to URLs and it's gonna show you um, the top URLs basically that Facebook has tracked on your website. And so you can see that we've got our homepage here as the top one. Interesting to me is that we've got a blog post here as the second one, which is how to create Instagram swipe up ads. We've got some um, Google AdWords blog posts up here, some Google Analytics blog posts up here. And then our main blog page URL is in the top five, which is interesting. So how I think about this data as a marketer is these are now things that Facebook has given us data. There's been um, 97 visitors to our blog page in the last seven days, according to these stats. And so what we can do is we can run an ad off of the fact that Facebook has tracked these 97 people uh, to this blog page and we can run an ad to those 97 people essentially, which is really, really cool. So that's what we can do right now within, uh, you know, using this data. So you can think, all right, now what would the psychology be of someone who's been to my blog landing page? And is there something that I can put in an ad creative that would get them to do something else with my company? For example, the other thing you can do is you can say, well, wow, we've got people coming to our blog page that we could run these ads to. What type of call to action could we put on our blog page to maybe drive some conversions there? So it's kind of a two-way street. So <clears throat> we're gonna stop here for today's data-driven daily tip. 
just getting your mind going in the direction of things that can be done with Facebook events. And then in the future, we're gonna get into creating some custom events, and then we're gonna get into what is a brand new feature that Facebook has launched and I'm excited to get into called lift testing. But before we get into lift testing, we have to go uh, give a review of your Facebook events, what events the Pixel has already tracked for you and just kind of get familiar with that. Because there's some complicated things about creating custom conversions and lift testing and it's easy to get lost in there and so what we want to do is take a very, very calculated approach with this. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. This has been your data-driven daily tip. Have a great day!